scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! We first learned of Kane. And And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, The Undertaker! The most awe-inspiring entrance. The Dead Man in action here tonight. One of the most athletically gifted, agile big men in the history of this business. Opponents know to prepare for Taker's power and striking skills, but I don't think they're ever truly prepared for how versatile and dangerous he can be in the ring. Truly awe-inspiring every time he mixes it up. While across the way, I cannot think of a superstar who enjoys inflicting pain on his opponents as much as Kane does. Well, if you love what you do, Saxton, you never work a day in your life. But that's clearly Kane's approach to things when the bell rings, as twisted as that may be. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Undertaker unleashing complete devastation. The Phenom hitting Kane with everything he's got. Oh, wait a second. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Close line! Well, that'll leave a mark. Tights! Uh-oh. Stops the attack with a kick to the gun. Uh-oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron. Nasty! The hardest part of the ring. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. Kane has performed the purest, most disturbing acts of evil on his brother, The Undertaker. Uh, what type of carnage can we expect to see in this demonic class? Unspeakable carnage, Michael. With each strike, each move, each blow, the intent from these entities is to send the other back to hell. It is brother versus brother, and there will be no mercy. It shouldn't be a shock that winning the match is secondary to these Leviathans. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Staring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Sky high. Stream of moves taking out Kane. The big red monster showing weakness here. I think we know what's coming next. Uh oh. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Kane gets that set right back to him. Snap and take over. Followed by. Face Cole, he can't believe it. Oh, Kane counters. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Wicked clothesline. What offense from the big red monster. Brutal attacks here from Kane. Kick 
to the gut. Dragged around into a neck breaker. He had it scouted. Close line. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Taker has him up. Here we go. Tombstone from The Undertaker. No way Kane is going to recover from that. For the win. Two. Oh, my. That was close. Talk about inhuman. No idea how Kane was able to kick out of that. The Big Red Monster is still in this. An unfamiliar look of shock from The Undertaker. He thought that was it. Showing that Brothers of Destruction doesn't just apply when they team up. Destroying one another. These brothers have no quitting. Oh, what a leg drop. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Devil's favorite sidewalk slam. Brother on brother combat that must be reverberating in the depths of hell. Almost ended it there. Getting that shoulder up now. It's huge. Yeah. It doesn't get any more intimidating than the big red monster. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Whoa. Into the ring now. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Here is your winner, The Undertaker! The dead man's power from the dark side was too much for even Kane to survive. Did someone call for a superhero? The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane. Let's be. Sorry. And his opponent from the bottomless pits, weighing in at 260 pounds, the Boogeyman! Hey, Byron. Here comes the boogeyman, and Corey's coming to get you. 
I had a feeling you were going to get that in there, Cole. The Boogeyman is one of the more surprising superstars WWE's ever seen. The man's a physical specimen, and he knows how to combine that athleticism with the uh, more unsettling aspects of his personality, shall we say? We'll see if his opponent can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Boogie, or if they'll fall victim to the mind games here tonight. And he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the one true superhero in all of WWE, the Hurricane. A more ridiculous man has never stepped through the ropes, Saxton. Not even you. Nevertheless, the Hurricane has managed to back up his tough talk on occasion. Got, got some heart. Now brains, I'll leave that to the people to decide. Quick thinking pays off. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. than Super. Boogeyman really showcasing his physical abilities. Didn't need any worms for that one. Back body drop! You see the height on that? Corey, let's say you're Boogeyman. You've eaten your worms, smashed your clocks, and drawn up a game plan. What are you doing to win this match? Shock and awe, Cole. Use my games to start and then just keep things simple and effective. Boogeyman has a very simple formula, so he should stick with what he does best. Nick I think I heard the words. Stand back. Foot to the gut. Oh, close line. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Whoa, not quite yet. And Hurricane fends him off. These two trade encounters and an absolute master class. Closer to three than he'd like. This is gonna be great. Boogeyman! Boogie Bomb! Did Boogeyman touch this? Two! And this one is over. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Here is your winner, the Boogeyman! And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. What I want to know is who ordered the inferior twin? Oh, would you stop, Corey? Breeze inferior to no one, thank you. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Bella Twins from San Diego, California, Brie Bella! Yeah, one of the most bitter and sick. A true trailblazer in the women's evolution. The fearless one has arrived. Nikki Bella is there. And representing the Bella Twins from San Diego, California, Nikki Bella. The singular drive. Brie Bella is known all over the world as the the famous Bella Twins, but when she's on her own in the ring, it's time for Brie mode to be unleashed. Brie is at her best when she's between the ropes, just being herself. And that's what Brie mode is all about. It's the unbridled confidence to get things done on your own terms. Looks to me like Brie is more than ready to flip that switch and go all out. 
Well, when it comes to her competition, Nikki Bella is, of course, known for her power and strength game, but she has really honed in on her striking ability. I do not want to get on the wrong side of Nikki. Her offense is just on another level of dangerous. Corey, Nikki Bella has a history of being dominant in the women's division. What do you think it is that defines that dominance, and will we see it here tonight? Well, it's got to be the strength and power game, Cole, and absolutely we will. Nikki Bella is power. Nikki Bella is strength. And when she's imposing her will, there is no one more dominant. Keep that in mind as this match continues. Running clothesline. Middle rope. Middle drop kick. Hit the target. Double axe handle smash. And the striking ability of Nikki put on the back burner for a moment. We could be flipping that switch into another mode soon. And impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. She's stunned in the corner. Teeing off the series of brutal kicks. Distress showing in the face of Nikki Bella. This relentlessness is Bree's trademark. <laughs> Big time move coming up. Oh my God, all the way to the floor. Any move from the top like that is nearly catastrophic. No. Oh, straight to the floor. You have daring and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Planted face first. Oh, she counters right back on Nikki. Oh, wait, wait a second. Hold on. I think we're about to have some company in this matchup. <laughs> oh, I think you're right, Saxton, and I couldn't be happier. I love this. Whoa, Look at what? Turning the tables there. Oh, brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. She kicked out of that. And you see a perplexed look now for how such impact taken flight. Diving body splash. <laughs> Up and oh, knee right to the spine. Ooh. Look out. Oh. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. <laughs> Planning on what to do next. Oh, strong impact. Getting dangerously close to her desk. That's it. I'm out of here. And she slides her back to the mat. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, it's primo. Nikki's having a And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. Here is your winner, Brie Bella! And you can't ignore just how much the previous distraction shifted the tide of this match. Tried to stay vigilant the whole time, but it proved too much in the end. Yeah, they put up a good fight, but you have to imagine her head was not in the right place after...
Samoan bulldozer is on the warpath. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan bulldozer, Umaga! Umaga can be... Here comes the street champion. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. Had a meteoric rise in Ed. Guys, with this match underway, you have to imagine that Solo Sokoa has some dangerous intentions in mind for this one. Of course he does, Cole. The street champ is all about sending a message, and not a particularly positive one. Ferocious, dangerous. These are just a couple of words to describe Solo's cover here. Not even close. Smash, nothing fancy. Boom, solo with a timely counter. All right, that's it. Belly to belly. <laughs> Maga fends that off. Solo Sokoa is when he gets going. What do you think is the key to overcoming a competitor like him? Yeah. If there's one thing about Sokoa that could be his downfall, Cole, it's the fact that he can be a bit of a hothead. Which is why if you're going to go up against him, you have to be the one to stay clear-headed. As much as he drives through his opponents like a big rig truck, you cannot let him get to you no matter what. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, what a splash. Umaga wants more out of his opponent. Two. Three. Four. There's truly a mystique about NXT. The black and gold brand has taken on a life of its own here in WWE. There's the arm ringer, followed by the leg drop. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Spinning hand kick. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Oh, 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 what a boot. Makes him pay with a counter. That's the power of Umaga. And into the count. Two. He gets the shoulder up at two. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Incoming! The top of a diving hammer strike! Winding up. Boom! Samoan spike! That's gonna keep Sokoa down. He stays alive, he stays alive! You gotta be kidding me! Surviving that maneuver is absolutely amazing. And now the Samoan bulldozer are gonna have to dig a little deeper to close this one out. Umaga's gonna fly! He paid for that one! Oh man, big time! Ah, oh, look at this! Headbutt! Hey! Fiery Lariat! What reflexes to stop Sokoa? Close lines! Good lord! So effective! And we just saw some serious offense! Slam. 
Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. He, he moved, but can yeah. he capitalize? Big forearm. Oh, uh, no, we don't need this right now. Sure we do, the more the merrier. These two are having a fantastic matchup. Oh, but where is he? No oh, square shot, but the back elbows ends that. Close line. So effective. Momentum fully shifted to Umaga. And props to him as he stayed clear-headed here. Keep... This'll do it. Umaga. Samoan Spike. Will that do it for Umaga? Will that do it for Umaga? It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Here is your winner, the Samoan Bulldozer, Umaga! I have to imagine things might have been different had this been a fully fair fight, but tonight we only have this. I don't see how you can say the distraction factor didn't play a factor in this one, guys. Guys, let's not be biased here. They won fair and square. Sure, if there is apparently a new definition of the term fair and square, having a little outside help does not feel like it fits the bill. Cody Rhodes is returned. A man who changed the entire wrestling world and is now ready to prove himself again in the WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! Yes. The beast is here. Time for a beatdown, cowboy style. And his opponent, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar. When you look at Brock Lesnar. Cody Rhodes out here tonight. Always a chip on his shoulder. Always with... Oh, no. Lesnar's about to end this. Rhodes denies the attack. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. 
Brock Lesnar, of course, known as the Conqueror. Corey, how exactly do you prepare for a competitor unlike any other? You make a good point, Cole. There really is no one else like Brock Lesnar. But a small handful of competitors have been able to score an upset on the Beast. One major key is to outpace him, to be the quicker man. Yes, it's easier said than done, but it is possible. to be without the momentum. And we're seeing him use his speed against Lesnar here, really taking it out of him now. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Oh! Not exactly the peak performance we're used to seeing from Lesnar there. Yeah, as Cody clearly came into this fight with something to prove. Just look at him now. And first blood has been drawn on the beast. Cody Rhodes hooks him up. That spells trouble for Lesnar. Cody Rhodes gonna fly through the air. Cody Cutter. Cody showing just how undeniable he is with that one. No smoke and mirror. The American Nightmare. Crossroads. Rhodes just turned the lights off. Two. What a kick out. I don't believe it. The Beast Incarnate. He is not. Rhodes looking to end this. Looking to put his opponent on Dream Street. Crossroads. This one has to be over. The American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes just might have finished things. Cover! Two count. And that's all she wrote. How about another look at some of the highlights? Here is your winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.